I've seen creators blowing up on YouTube with just a few videos, and I wanted to try the same. I made the video, and after I uploaded it, my life completely changed. I got monetized, but it wasn't just luck. We will go over titles, thumbnails, editing, scripts, but first, let's go back to when it all started. In April of last year, there was a big trend on YouTube about the fast success of the faceless channels. These two channels right here were run by a 17-year-old from the comfort of his own home. I was thinking, it's so easy, bro. I know how to edit well. I know Photoshop perfectly. Scripts are easy. In voiceover, I will just pay someone to do it. I decided to hop on the trend, and I started creating the first video for my channel. However, I wanted to stand out from the competition, and I improved my editing skills to make my video as better as possible. Seven days later, after 35 hours of editing, I finally finished my three-minute video. Yeah, 35 hours for three-minute long video. This style of thumbnail was becoming more and more popular back then, so I made the thumbnail in a similar style. Thumbnail was giving one single message. I broke the algorithm in one single video. Nothing more, nothing less. It created enough curiosity, so I just went with it. Don't over-design them. They just needs to show main thing from the video, and the title should approve how they understood the thumbnail. For the title, I wanted to put, this is how I beat the YouTube algorithm with just one single YouTube video. But I realized that it is the title and not an essay, so I shortened it to this. How I beat YouTube algorithm with only one video. Keep the title short if possible under 55 characters. Put one or two words in caps lock if you want them to stand out, but if that doesn't fit the title, just skip it. To see if your title is understandable on every device, just put it on the website Thumbs Up TV and you can check there how it looks on different devices, so you can optimize if needed. Same for the thumbnail. Remember, less is more. The video was structured like this. I was giving the tips on the editing, voiceover, thumbnail, and all of that, just like everyone else did. And at the end, I said something like, To prove to you that this works, this is my first video, and you can see the results for yourself. It slowly started to get views soon after upload, and I thought, this is it. I am getting monetized. After two weeks, it gained around 4K views, and I uploaded the next video with the same strategy. Fast-paced editing, good-looking thumbnail, and catchy title. How to edit videos that go viral. Who wouldn't want to know that? This video performed even better. In the first 24 hours, it already gained 1.3k views. I was now sure that I cracked the algorithm and that soon I would live in a mansion. Until, one day later I realized, I don't want to do this anymore. People watch because editing is too addicting. My videos aren't valuable at all. I can't keep up anymore. I will delete these videos. I quit. I actually didn't delete the videos, I just unlisted them. Probably wanted them for my editing portfolio, who knows. Anyways, this was my fast start and fast end on YouTube for now. When I deleted the my bad, unlisted the videos, I just went back to my old editing passion and continued to edit for my clients. Meanwhile, I started another shorts channel for myself because I've already edited many shorts before. Wow, these shorts are going good. Wait, what if I showed my experience on YouTube shorts? The new idea was born. I decided to try once again on YouTube, but this time my goal was to actually help someone with my videos. Not like the last two times. I went back to the whiteboard and worked on the new formula. My whole focus was on the script because I realized that it's what you give, not what you get. I spent a few days refining it before I was finally ready to make a video. My goal for the editing was to make it easy to follow, with good animations, not to have something happening every millisecond like in the first two videos that would distract the shit out of Back you. Back to the video. For the voiceover, I used an AI called Eleven Labs, and there are always worries. Can you monetize your channel with AI voice? Well, I am monetized even though I use it. At the end, it all depends on your content, and not only on the voice itself at least for now. I spent a few days editing the video, and now all that was left was to upload it. Wait, I gotta make a thumbnail. And this was my first mistake since I started again, making the thumbnail after the whole video. Now that I have a thumbnail, it is time to upload it. Just 24 hours after uploading, this video hit almost 400 views. Of course it won't get 10k on the first day. I wasn't active on the channel for 50 days, but when I saw that the CTR was 2%, I was just starting on this channel back then, and if I knew this one thing earlier, video would probably gain views faster. One week after publishing, I saw that CTR wasn't really growing, and I realized that thumbnail was bad. 
I knew I had to change it. And that was the first mistake. I made the thumbnail after the video, so I had to optimize the thumbnail to the video and not the video to the thumbnail. Remember, you should always make a whole intro and hook based on the thumbnail, so make the thumbnail first. The text here was small, nobody could even see it, so it was pointless. I spent another hour recreating the thumbnail, and I went with this one out of all of the other versions. You will say now, but all of them are the same. No, they aren't. There are details that separate them. I always make sure to have enough versions for every thumbnail I make. It could be different colors, different placements of the parts, or completely different concepts. It doesn't have to be complicated, it just has to be clickable. But this all could be different. Only if I knew what A-B testing was back then. It is basically when you make two or more versions of your video packaging, which is the title and thumbnail combined, and you test them to see which one gives better results, specifically views, CTR, and AVD. Well, I kind of did the A-B testing manually because I changed a thumbnail one week after posting, but I could get higher CTR from the start. I would would probably go insane if I did it manually every couple of hours. Ah! Thankfully, thumbnailtest.com does it automatically for me. And even better, I'll get more detailed results of the difference in performance. So, to start a new test, click on New. Pretty straightforward. Now, you need to choose which video will be tested. You can search here for the video, paste the link, or just click on the video if you have low number of videos like me. When you choose a video, you have three options for the tests. Test only thumbnail, only title, or both together. Safest thing to do is to just test the thumbnail if you have a lot of views coming from the search results, because changing the title can drop your rank in search results. All right, for example, I will choose thumbnail test. Now I will just upload these two thumbnails out of all other versions, but you can upload up to 10. Wait, I will just add a small note that this is the second thumbnail. I suggest that you leave this ticked, because how will you compare the performance of your current thumbnail with new one if you don't include original thumbnail in the test. Next, you should choose the time frame of the test. Daily tests are recommended when your video is already public for few days, weeks, or even months. And hourly tests are recommended for the new videos, so you can compare the performance on the first day. That is what I did for this video, but I can't show you that now because I am editing the same video you are watching. Now choose type of the test. Classic works like this. It changes thumbnails every day or every hour, depending on what you choose, and consecutive would test first thumbnail thumbnail, for example, three days, and second one for three days. Next, you put the duration of the test. I suggest you go with the recommended, but you can always choose as much as you want. After that, just hit run test. When the test is finished, you will see detailed results so you can see which one works better. The video slowly grew, and after three weeks, it got around 16k views, but fourth week changed everything. At the end of the fourth week, video had 40k views, which means that in that week alone, video gained 24,000 views. There is a lesson for you. YouTube growth is exponential. Don't look at the small picture of your analytics. Things can change when you don't expect them. I knew that this was just the start, because after six weeks, video had 100k views, and that means that I passed the requirements, because this video alone had 4k watch hours, and I gained over 1.7k subs from it. Around eight days later, I uploaded the next video with the same concept. My experience on YouTube Shorts for one month, or whatever it is called right now. I will have 50k views easily on this video. I never thought YouTube would be this easy. Not so fast. I uploaded one more video after this one, and that one flopped too. The mindset that I had for these two videos was basically, I'll just give it time, YouTube will do its job. And yes, you should really give it time, but you need to maximize the chances of good performance. So, I went back and analyzed what made first video so viral. I got it! The only thing that matters more than click-through rate and watch time on YouTube is engagement. For the matter of fact, click-through rate matters, but not as much as you thought. My first video had a click-through rate of only 2% in the first week, yet it got pushed and now has over 400,000 views. And both of these videos have similar or better average view duration, yet they still flop. Don't get me wrong. You should always try to get as higher CTR as you can, because if more people click on your video, you will get more views, of course. I am just saying that getting people to engage should be your main goal how you do that. You make the videos more interesting, include some jokes, improve your editing. For the matter of fact, engagement also matters on shorts. For example, on my new shorts channel, shorts usually get over 8k views, and some got over 15 and 20k in just a few days. But just take a look at the number of comments and likes. Engagement shows that people like that video, so it should be pushed more. Now I went back to update the formula again. You can have the best editing in the world, the best thumbnail in the world, and the best title in the world. But your videos will just flop if you don't actually work on this one thing. Video topic. 
If no one is interested in the video topic you are making a video about, the thumbnail won't create curiosity, the title won't be interesting no matter what, and editing, no one will get to see it because they didn't click in the first place. Don't get me wrong, some people will click, but it won't be the amount you expected at the start. Once I realized that, my eyes opened, and for the next video, I put all the effort into finding the best video topic that would get me back to my prime. Not that one! I remembered that I had a shorts channel that I made a little before than the one I covered in my first video. It had a really good amount of views, and I decided to create a video about it. But it is not just a video topic. I wanted to create the best video ever, so the people who watch it can get value in entertaining way. That means that I need to improve the editing and script. The principle was simple. I didn't want to create a video anymore. I wanted to create a story that people can learn from. So, for the script, key elements are value and storytelling. And no, it is not just educational value, there is also an entertainment value. If people find the video interesting, they will watch it. And about editing, I will cover that in detail in the next video, literally, because there is too much to say, so I will create another video. You can subscribe to my newsletter if you want to be the first to know about my YouTube and editing findings. I also made a Discord server where we support each other on the YouTube journey. Links are in the description. So, is that the whole formula? All that was left was to test it. Twelve days later, I finished the production after implementing all of these into this single video. I uploaded the video, and I was more confident now that the video will get more views than the previous two videos. Just 18 days later, the video hit 50k views, which is the record of the channel in that period of time. But to prove to you that engagement and video topic matters the most, of course with good combination of everything else, let's compare these two videos. Do you see what I mean? Yeah bro, but you are in education niche. It is easy to grow there. Oh really? Just look at this guy. He had so unique video topic, and he presented it in such a unique way that basically, he had no competition. That is why he accomplished this with only two videos. I've never seen any channel do something similar in the format he did. Now, the truth. Yes, you indeed can go viral with just one single video in other niches, and there are many proofs of that. But the truth is, most likely you won't. Don't get me wrong. I want every single one of you who watches this video to succeed on YouTube. But. How will you learn to drive a car without an engine? I wrote tens of scripts before making this one. I created tens of thumbnails before creating this one. I produced hundreds of videos, long and short, before editing this one. So I don't want to lie to you that you can go viral with one video if you've never uploaded any video before. Remember, one who loves journey goes further than one who loves a destination. 